there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I'm going to be continuing with my collection video. Today, I'm going to share with you all of my books and pages from Hannah Lynn. Um, she is a just a fun artist to color, super relaxing, um, fun time on her pages all the time. So yeah, so I'm gonna start with some of the books that I don't have as many colored in, and then we will go back around to the one that I have the most in. So let me go ahead and get started. So first up, I have the Fantasy Faces. So this is the pocket edition. It's one of the smaller size books that she makes. And um, these are just so fun to color. Uh, but I do not have very many in here at all. Um, and you get two images or two, yeah, two images of each illustration, but one is grayscale and one is not. So I have started that one. And I think that's the only thing I've done in this book. <laughs> Uh, it is one that I do have on my uh, to color list. When I'm done with my Enchanted Faces pocket size, I'm either going to start this one or the Sweet and Simple. I'm not sure which one yet, but uh, one of those will be coming next. And speaking of, here's the Sweet and Simple one. I think I have, again, I don't know if there's any completed pages in this. I have one started here. Yeah, but that's it. So yeah, so those are on my to color list as soon as I'm done with my Enchanted Faces um, pocket size. So, okay, let me grab the next ones here. Okay, we're gonna start with Whimsy Girls Around the World. Uh, this one, I don't believe I have anything colored in. It is a very, very cute book. Um, I have not worked in it. I don't know why. Um, I might, it might be because I've been working so much in the pocket size version. Um, but yeah, I think it's super cute and one that I would definitely, uh, like to work in, but yeah, so that is Whimsy Girls Around the World. Then I have Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. Um, I might have a couple, I think I have a whip in here and maybe a finished page. So there's the whip. Um, and then I have this completed page, which I used um, like a clear gesso on and then some water-based materials in the background. I think it was basically just water-based marker and then I used it as a watercolor. Um, and then I think that's it. Yeah, so it makes me sad when I look through all these books and I just don't have anything colored in them. Uh, the Princesses one is another one. So this is the Fairy Patel Princesses and Story Darlings. I have gone through and started uh, Skin Tone for all of them. Uh, but that's really all I've done. I have this one that's a pretty good whip. And I like the way that that's looking so far. Um, but yeah, really just like... There's another whip. And then this one is another whip that I, is almost done. I just have to finish the dress and then color Pinocchio. And then my daughter colored this one. So, yeah. These books, her and I used to color in quite a bit together. And you'll see that in another of the books here in a minute. See, there's another one that she did, which I just thought turned out so good. I was so proud of her. But yeah, so basically just skin tones done in this, and that's about it. I thought that that would help me get going. And it, it does give me a little bit of a of a boost, but not much. Um, so I have the Coloring Heaven Steampunk Special instead of the um, Steampunk Darlings book. And um, since I do have this one, I have not purchased the other one. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel like I needed to do that. Plus this one has some exclusive content. So, so yeah, again, you'll see things where I've come in and started a little bit of skin tone here and there. I do have um, a couple completed pages in this one. So I have this one here which I love, which is mostly alcohol marker and then Prismacolors on top. And then I do have like some metallic watercolors thrown on there as well. Um, there's another skin tone. And then this one, which I really like the way this one turned out. This one was done this year. Um, yeah, I like that one a lot. It's cute little armadillo. <laughs> um, but yeah, these ones are super cute again. And I just, I did find um, this beautiful, these beautiful steampunk um, images. So those are going to be like a lot of color inspiration and things like that for um, different pages in that book. 
Um, so I have Victorian Darlings. And this is another one where I've gone through and done a skin tone for everybody. Um, and I don't know that I have any pages done in this one either. I don't. Oh, I do have one. Oh, I have this one. And it's one of my favorites. She's so pretty. Yeah, that one was uh, mostly alcohol markers. And then again, just a little bit of Prisma on top. I think she turned out beautiful. Um, and then I feel like maybe I started another one and just haven't got back to finish it. Yes, that one. Um, so her skin's done and that's it. I just don't, I don't think I liked the hair choice. But it always looks weird until you get like the nose and the, or the, uh, the eyes and the lips done. And then I can come in and do some shading on the hair. It'll be fine. I'll be able to get it done. I just haven't come back to it. So that's Victorian Darlings. Uh, then we have Mythical Maidens. I think this is another one that I've done um, skin tones on throughout. Uh, I do have a couple of completed pages in this one, though. Uh, and then my daughter has a couple in here, too, that she's either started or completely colored. Um, I have this one, which just turned into a hot mess. I was trying something on the skin. Didn't work, but... Yeah, so it's all alcohol marker. I didn't use any pencil on this page, and I think I was trying to give her, like, skin some texture, and it just ended up looking worse and worse and worse every time I played with it. Um, I like the backside way better. <laughs> I think I love it when the um, the backside of the alcohol marker pages looks so cool. Um, yeah, what else do I have done in here? I have this one done, which this one was fun. I used a color shift paint around the outside to get that cool look. I've got like some um, metallic watercolor stuff on the clouds. Um, I think I used distress inks in the background. And then I think, yeah, alcohol markers for her skin and outfit and stuff. I do like that one. Uh, this is one I started a while ago. I just started this with Prismacolors and it's the difference between like having that alcohol marker base and then trying to just do Prismacolors. It's like night and day. So I haven't gone back to finish this one. I know there's another version that I could do instead, which I might end up just doing that and abandoning this one because it's, it's a lot. I don't know. I might finish it. <laughs> Who knows? This is one of my favorite images that she's ever drawn. I think it's so beautiful. And I just, I would love to color it, but every time I look at it, I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. Uh, but yeah, it's stunningly beautiful. And her original artwork of this is just gorgeous. Um, yeah, so again, lots of skin tones of things done. And um, that's about it. So yeah, so that is Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. Then I have my, this is the very first book I bought by Hannah Lynn. So this is Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy. This is one that uh, my daughter and I used to color in a lot together. And she's actually colored the majority of the pages in this. So I'll flip through quickly. Um, but like a lot of them are when she first started coloring with me. So when she was like, you know, like three, four. <laughs> So she has some interesting color choices, <laughs> um, but some of them are older, like when she's a little bit older. So she was trying out different marker things and yeah, she's got a couple in here. And then I do have some pictures of um, like my um, cousins of color too. So this is one of my cousins that colored that one. So this one was just like a big community book. So you can see some of them are a little, are a little out there. Um, I did that one which I'm excited in that simple, the other pocket size, there's individual photos of that. So that'll be fun to color. Um, that was another one my cousin did. This is one that my, my daughter did and she was so proud of it. And I loved that she, she had found a color palette that she liked and she tried to incorporate all the colors. And I just thought it was so cute. It was just adorable. Uh, she did that one too. Let's see. I did that one, which again is all pencil and no marker or anything. So it's not as vibrant as I like. Um, I started that one a while ago and then I don't know the combination that I used for the, the sky, but again, trying to go through and color that whole background with just pencil, just I'm looking at, it, I'm like, mm, I don't think that's going to work for me. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. I did that one a while ago. I think that was one of the very first pages I ever colored in this book. 
Um, that's another one my cousin did. I thought that turned out so cool. Um, that was another one that my daughter did, which she was really proud of that one. Um, yeah, here's one I did, and I had started using alcohol markers on that, so I do really like the way that that one um, ended up looking. And then this one, and this is, again, one of the first ones I did. So this is colored in 2018, which is a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I like it. So yeah, so that is the Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy. And then last but not least is the Enchanted Faces. I'm going to zoom in for this. Okay, so you might have seen some of these already, but we're just going to flip through from the front. And I will do a quick flip. All of these pages, I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of them will have an alcohol marker base, um, Prismacolor pencils, and then they'll, there'll be some kind of gel pen or stickles on the page somewhere, but that's it. That's what I use every time. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to flip through these. Um, and then I do have them all dated. So like this one is from this year, which I really like this. This one was based off of Rainbow Bright. It's really fun to do. And there's only like, I don't know, eight or something left in this to color. I think I counted. I just finished this one, so that's a sneak peek for my color pages this month. I love that one. There's that one. This one is almost done, you guys. I'm so close to it being done, and I love it. I did the thing again where I tried to get a, like texture on the skin, and I just don't like the way that that <laughs> ended up looking. I do like this one though. I really like the, um, the lights on her skin and she just, it just looks very glowy. I think that one turned out cool. Um, so yeah, in these books, I really try to play with skin tones and hair colors and just try to do all kinds of different looks. I really like that one too. Um, yeah. And it, you know, I like literally every color of skin, I've got blue, green, pink in here so far. And then every, shade of like normal skin tone that you can possibly think of I've tried out in this book too oh that's another one that I just finished this month so <laughs> there's another sneaky peek um that one was last month I really like that one I love this little otter I did use the um extreme glitter uh, folk art paint for that for the water and I thought that turned out cool um, this one had like a whole scene in the background I just didn't want it I just liked the the girl in the front so I just blacked it all out and went with that I like that one this is just a crazy idea that I had see every skin tone imaginable she's a tiger lady <laughs> um, yeah so I just tried tried all kinds of stuff and this is, that's what these books are really great for, is to just play and have fun with your colors. Really like that one, too. Um, got that one. That one. That one. There's more of that extreme folk art glitter paint. A couple more in here. I've got this lady... This one, she's got lots of sparkly stuff on her and that's it. So yeah, so just a few more left in this and then it'll be all finished. Uh, but yeah, so that is all of my work in my Hannah Lynn books. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next time in the next collection video. Until then, take care and I'll see you later. Bye. <music>